Now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lamers. Okay, it's 545 now, Monday morning, starting off with a gloomy day, and it will be a little chilly out there. It's 43 right now in Appleton. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit, and there are some showers out there, but not there in Appleton or much of the Fox Cities. Same thing Lakeside, you're dry. Green Bay is dry. Most of the North Woods is dry. Off to the north of, let's say, Highway 8, there's a few light uh, snowflakes at the moment. And more rain showers developing out to the west of us that will become more widely scattered as we approach the next couple of hours. So 40s are on the board right now and some 30s off to the north. Uh, right now, Green Bay reading 44, but I think that continues to drop just a little bit as these showers become more numerous with the morning and right into the afternoon. Look at our highs, either holding steady of where we are right now or slightly dropping in nature. Highs will be around 42 later on this afternoon with showers about. Now, this is not going to be an all day rain for us, uh, nor will it be this super soaker type of rain, but it's a pesky chance all day long. That's why you saw those icons there. East to southeast winds will come off of Lake Michigan and give us a chance for a few gusts close to 25 miles per hour. So it might be a slightly breezy day. So some thunderstorms in northern Illinois right now. Snow showers off to the north as two areas of low pressure will track right over the Midwest. We're smack dab in the middle. Not the best chance for rain, but we do definitely have more showers becoming uh, numerous and scattered about as we go through the next couple of hours. So here's 9 o'clock. Notice our temperatures dropping slightly. We're going to have to watch those temperatures today. 35 up to the north, and that's where we could start to see some of that mix developing by 10 o'clock this morning. We might see some light snowflakes lakeside, but I think the best chance for even some accumulating snow will be off in the northern sections as uh, some of that tracks that way. Now this afternoon, the southern half of the area will be mainly cloudy, but we'll continue with the chance for showers off to the north before it heads out of here by later on this evening and we go dry overnight tonight. So where will we see any snow? Well, again, we're of that chance lakeside, but I think the best chance for snow off to the far north, rain showers will be everywhere else. How much rain could we see? Well, in terms of uh, precipitation totals, we could pick up a few tenths of an inch here, uh, but I think that's just about it. So it's not the biggest rainfall we've had so far this year. As far as any accumulating snow chances, far, far to the north, it could be about an inch or two everywhere else. That snow will melt directly on contact. We don't have to worry about accumulating snow for us today. So the showers working away from us tonight. By tomorrow morning, cloudy, could see some patchy fog out there to start the day. Then we're going to stop the clock at 3 tomorrow afternoon. We're still dry, but down to the south and east, we'll have more showers develop later into Tuesday, and that continues into Wednesday, too. So for today, breezy with scattered showers, a snowy mix off to the north, and 40 for the high. Now, for tonight, mostly cloudy skies, some patchy fog to develop as we drop our lows to 35. Here's your seven-day forecast. Again, most of the day tomorrow is dry with some evening rain showers approaching us, 45. Wednesday also 45 with some morning showers. Thursday, a few more showers along a cold front before we dry out and start to warm up Friday, Saturday. 